Hello, friends. I've got an important project to complete. I'm not sure it's going to happen all tonight, but I'm starting it tonight, and I'll show you what it is. I am filling bags for the trick-or-treaters. I remember when I was little, we would go to houses, and they would have bags of things, and it would be like the most exciting thing in the world. Instead of a candy, you would get like a bag full of candy or a bag full of something. You didn't know it was always a surprise. That was my favorite thing. So I like to do that for the kids in our neighborhood. And this year, I got some really crazy things. I'll show you. So I'm giving full-size Starburst and Skittles and full-size Sour Patch and Swedish Fish. You remember when you were little and you would get a full-size Snickers bar or a Jumbo Payday and you would be like, I can't believe it. This is the best thing. So that's what I'm doing here. Now, in the past, I've given Three Musketeers and Snickers. They are just not as popular. The kids love this stuff. So that's what I'm doing. That's number one that's going to go in the bag. Number two are these little ducklings. There's all kinds of different ducklings. Here is a little unicorn duckling. Here is a little polka dot duckling. Here is a little sports duckling. Here is a little pirate duckling. <laughs> There's all different kinds. And I'm gonna put one in every treat bag. These are used for different kinds of things, games at carnivals and um, Jeep owners collect them and share them, but I thought that the little ones would really enjoy having a toy in the treat bag, so one of those in each. We had a birthday party at my house just a little while back, and I was overzealous in the candy that I bought, and so I have a lot of candy left over. These are like little uh, hot dog jellies, little tiny Twix, and some dum dum lollipops plus some gold coins so i'm going to put one of those in each of the bags too at the beginning of the halloween season i bought a bucket of halloween treats for my granddaughters and um they each enjoyed this for about uh five minutes <laughs> And then that was the end. They were done playing with it. So I'm going to repurpose it because it didn't get, they didn't get very much use. So I'll put one of these in each of the bags. There'll be either a little Frisbee, a pop-up spider, um, a little prism that you look through, or a little spooky slinky. <laughs> So when I get everything done and all of them packaged, they should look something like this, which looks really fun. So I'll have them on a table and kids will come by and they can take one. The problem is you have to tell them take only one because they want to take more than one. <laughs> so I am here with my Martinelli's apple, apple cider. <laughs> and I'm going to have a lovely, relaxing evening stuffing the trick-or-treat bags.